seems like they skipped the 90s for WandaVision and they jumped right into the early 2000s. Very good, very good. You know something? No soup for you! But it's also the Halloween episode, which I've been waiting a long time for. For a while I was thinking it was the 90s and then, but I thought, oh, this, this seems a little bit modern for the 90s style sitcom, the way they're talking towards the camera and everything. And then the thing that, the thing that clued me in was, okay, when they're, when you, when they're at the Halloween party and you see in the movie theater and they're playing The Incredibles, well, okay, that movie did not come out until after 2000. So we finally got to see Wanda in her classic sort of costume of the pop figure and the button from the comics and a Sokovian fortune teller and vision sort of is supposed to be so like a a mexican wrestler i think and so it's funny how they have they had like kind of other ideas in mind as characters what they were but really we as fans see them as obviously they basically look like their original comic book uh, costumes i think last week sort of fully established as i said sort of culminated from what the first few episodes were and now we're sort of i think in the sort of set kind of formula so constantly we're going back and forth it's half like the sitcom and half outside of the the hex basically all of our protagonists outside of the dome monica rambo jimmy Wu, and darcy lewis have all been basically sort of fired or yeah they, they don't have they have pretty terrible security though they're able to like hack into all of tyler hayward's information and they find out he's tracking vision for some reason vision is actually for the most part he's kind of conscious now since last episode but he's sort of it seems like he's hiding it from wanda he's making her think that since she reta maybe maybe the reason it went to the 2000s maybe she maybe she didn't i don't know theory maybe, maybe she didn't do the any 90s episodes because she had to because vision found out last week and she thought she had to like just reset it so even more so she had to jump further in time maybe but it's clearly if that was the case didn't work because vision still remembers everything and he's still trying to figure out what's going on and um he actually tries to get out of the hex this week. And Darcy even finds out when she's hacking into Taylor, Tyler Hayward's files that when Monica's saying she's about to go back into the dome and oh, what's the worst thing that can happen? She'll just, Wanda will brainwash her and put her in some some old school clothes. But no, um, Darcy pretty much shows her Tyler has like her blood results. And it seems like after she went into the dome, it's actually, it's, it is creating like a permanent change even after they they get out so she says it is slowly changing her so i guess every time you go back in there is going to be a cost i guess to how much you are in this in this dome or in the in the hex now let's talk about quicksilver as we mo most of us suspected we don't really have any concrete answers yet still but very clearly there's more going on here than just he's quicksilver so wanda is not behind it clearly she is asking him like oh so why why do you look different than than my brother did originally how come you look different bro and he sort of says well i don't know why maybe maybe you subconsciously did that because you don't want to remember your painful past so you want to remember your brother but not exactly and you want to create a happier kind of reality of it vision looks the same so that's that's not the case here so obviously at the end of the episode she fully like blasts him when vision is trying to get out of the hex at the end and he like gets to the edge of town which you see where when he gets near the edge of the dome or the hex, everyone is sort of not even, they're just all kind of frozen there. And Wanda, of course, you can even see the street. I think it's Ellis Street or something. She told the her kids not to go past because basically it seems like she doesn't have enough energy to control people beyond a certain point in the hex. So all of her energy is focused on, I guess, maybe this Halloween parade right now. So... So Vision finds Agnes in a car in the part we saw in the trailers and she's dressed up as a witch. So maybe that's, I don't know if that's just, everyone's been wondering if that's just basically telling us that she's Agatha Harkness, the witch from the comics. We don't know still, they still haven't really answered that, but it seems like she, so I don't know if she's playing us still, like acting like an innocent maybe though, or, but it seems just from at face value that she is, a victim just another victim and uh vision was sort of able to snap her out by touching her head sort of the way he did with norm last week she tells him oh she's like oh am i dead and then he's like no why would you ask that and she's like oh well because you are when vision tries to get out when he says he's getting out of the hex it's actually ripping him apart billy pretty soon like sort of picks up on this because he has sort of telepathic kind of powers like wanda i guess and 
he tells Wanda, who for some reason isn't picking up on it, maybe because her power energy is focused on controlling everything. And he tells her, oh, God, Dad's in trouble. And she pretty quickly is like, oh, shit, we got to we gotta help him. So then she expands the hex, finally. <laughs> which I think we all saw it coming, but, and it, there was a sort of, it wasn't out of any malicious reason. So this sort of, I think this episode is the first one since episode three or four to sort of change the curve of, it was building Wanda up to be a villain and for a few episodes. And now it's sort of leveling that out and sort of making us sympathize and understand her more again, I think. And so the reason she expands the dome is to save Vision from dying again. And Quicksilver, Pietro, even says... Don't sweat it, sis. It's not like your dead husband could die twice. And so that was a very malicious, kind of cruel thing to say. So he's, he's we already know he's clued in to what's happening. Wanda sort of tells him, and she even tells him she doesn't actually know how it all began. So we know that now, it seems, that maybe she... We don't know. I don't know. She doesn't remember exactly how it all started, even though we saw the video of her. So we'll see how that ends up like what the, what the deal with that was but um she doesn't know so Wanda does sort of seem a bit less like a villain this week I would say than she did the last couple episodes she expands the hex and we see everyone who's like can't get away oh Darcy so I'm I, I suspected something like that would happen with one of her at least one of our three sort of protagonists outside the dome well Monica was already in there but another one would be sort of sucked in obviously I think that we saw that coming and I think uh, I think that's gonna be fun next week. We're gonna see Darcy, I guess, in some kind of role in in her sitcom world, which I'm guessing next week. I mean, I'd say the only era left now is if we're in the 2000s. Now is like kind of we know there's gonna be an Office or Modern Family style episode, so that's probably that's the only probably sitcom area kind of left. So I would say only one of the last three episodes will be that. Probably the next one, and then things will probably explode after next week. I'm guessing. I mean, they literally did kind of explode this week. And I guess this is sort of the end of Act 2 in a way, because they're saying the show is three acts and each act is sort of three episodes. And now we're next, we're going into the final three episodes. Yeah, I would say the Halloween one, I think it lived up to the hype. It was a really fun episode. In some ways, I think it was a bit less intense than the last two, maybe. But um, yeah, as always, just keeps building the tension and everyone, all the actors were fantastic as always. And I think things are really going to get crazy in next week's episode. So that's my thoughts on this one. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And take care. Bye.